Around 30% of the reefs are believed to have suffered damage due to human activities. But what is the cause of this damage? Why is this so important? And why should we be concerned? Coral reefs attract tourism due to their beauty. The different colors of the reefs and varied fauna attract many divers. But they also have great economic value. They provide protein for the population on Earth, being important for fishing. They have a huge diversity with the presence of fish, algae, and other organisms. They have technological importance for the production of medicines and cosmetics. They help protect the coast from erosion and storms as they work as a rigid, submerged barrier. They act as a barrier to waves. But what are the causes of coral reefs' damages? The increase in seawater temperature and acidity can affect coral reefs, which have great biodiversity and are colonies of plants and animals in the marine world. Corals can undergo a bleaching process with loss of their color. This is an ecological problem related to the increase in water temperature. In this process, there is a loss of pigment in the algae that live next to the corals, in association, and they become translucent. The bleaching occurs due to the increase in the photosynthesis of the algae caused by the heating of the water, consequently, there will be a greater formation of oxygen, which is toxic for the corals. Thus, the corals expel the algae from their tissues and the corals become brittle and whitish and may die and disrupt the structure of the reefs. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way we can continue to make videos for you. Ocean acidification is also a threat to coral reefs. This acidification is caused by an increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, followed by an increase in its concentration in seawater. In seawater, it reacts forming carbonic acid, causing a decrease in the pH of the water in the oceans. This decrease in pH impairs the formation of reefs due to the reduction of limestone secretion by corals and algae. The effect of ocean acidification on calcifying organisms, such as corals, has been observed by researchers and causes difficulties in the formation of shells, which may cause their disappearance. The use of carbon in the formation of calcium carbonate is favored in the aquatic environment under normal conditions. The decrease in pH of seawater, due to the increase in carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere, causes part of the carbonate in marine environments to bind with hydrogen ions. Thus, we will have less carbonate available for the formation of calcium carbonate necessary for calcifying organisms. This causes the weakening of the corals due to less incorporation of calcium carbonate. Other factors that can threaten coral reefs are changes in salinity and pollution. The destruction of corals due to the heating of seawater and its increase in acidity can cause many problems since they supply animal protein and raw materials for the production of medicines and cosmetics. Coral reefs also act as a barrier to waves. Therefore, the disappearance of coral reefs will bring risks to islands and cities by the sea. There will be also a loss of biodiversity in these places. Corals are of great importance to marine life due to their biodiversity. Just as tropical forests are important for fauna and flora, corals are important for life in the sea and most fish species need them for their survival. But corals are not plants as many people may think. While corals are marine animals formed by polyps and have a base with a limestone skeleton that remains fixed in place. Coral reefs consist of several corals in the same ecosystem. In coral reefs, there is cooperation in which individuals of the same species group and interact in an advantageous way. This grouping of individuals of the same species is called a colony. In the colony, individuals are anatomically united and appear to be single beings. Each individual is called a polyp in a coral colony. Most marine species live in coral reefs. In shallow waters, there is a symbiotic relationship between zooxanthellae, which are unicellular algae, and corals present in coral reefs. Zooxanthellae provide products of photosynthesis and help in increasing the rate of calcification of corals and corals have the function of providing inorganic nutrients, shelter, and carbonic gas for the zooxanthellae. Some actions that can prevent coral bleaching are reducing the use of cars and replacing fossil fuels with renewable and clean energy sources. If you liked the video, leave your like and subscribe to our channel.